Oh boy. Here I go killing again. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Prison Architect Advanced Gang Warfare Season 3. Last episode, we lost two vital gang leaders for the Blue and Red Gang, and Green has taken over a majority of the prison. All that's left is Red Gang's yard, which is the major battleground for all three gangs. And Green will become the winner after, I think, two or three days if they can hold all three battlegrounds. Or I guess all, what's this, two, four, six, seven battlegrounds uh, for a substantial amount of time. The gangs as they stand has Red with one dollar and eight kills and 21 members. Green with 41 cents, 53 kills and 46 members. And Blue with zero monies, 11 kills and 37 members. Yeah. Quite the ruckus going on in the blue gang cell. Looks like a lot of guards are getting murdered by somebody with uh, Andre Beck. Not quite Beckwith, but half a Beckwith. Killed a couple guards before getting knocked out. Looks like we had another fight here with some more people getting uh, murdered, which is not good. But we've got some more time and we've got, uh, I think, 43 prisoners coming at 8 a.m. Hopefully we can get the gangs all sorted out by then. You know, Beck here is a legendary prisoner. I'm not really sure if he's an important... Oh, he's not even a gang member. He's just a legendary prisoner. So he's just going to have problems. Hold on a second. All right, Beck. You literally serve no, no purpose for this series. So I think he might have to go. Unless he gets recruited in as the gang member, I don't think he will because there's literally no <laughs> lieutenants, I don't think. So I don't think it's going to really work out for him too well. Looks like Red Gang is having some fights as well. I'm not sure if there are any legendary prisoners that are causing some trouble here. I don't think so. Uh, Beck is unconscious and going to the infirmary, hopefully before getting sent to uh, the solitary cells forever. Wow, we're just losing guards left and right. It's actually kind of scary. I don't even know who's killing them all. Is this Beck again? Wait a minute. Beck should have permanent permanent lockdown. I don't know why. You know what? I'm going to make a troublemaker ward. I don't know where to put it. Green Gang Lieutenant has gone legendary status and seems to be murdering guards left and right, which is unfortunate for them. But uh, I don't know what to do about it. So we're just going to let it happen. It's now almost time for everybody to wake up and live. Hopefully we can get things working soon. We are changing you to a supermax and we are building a nice little supermax place for everybody shortly. And there's immediately a riot. You love to see it. I don't even know where. Uh, let's see. It's gone. Okay. Well, it was just a quick riot. I'm not even sure why people are mad. Like, I don't even know what's going on. We barely even have any guards left to suppress everybody. So it's not like there's even a big problem it's just safety that they're scared of and exercise and family green gang is not having it for some reason well if they want to get killed that's that's going to be on them they are going to win the gang war if they aren't stupid but looks like they might try to be you know what happens when people try to be stupid i deploy the soldiers that's what i do so what we're going to do is literally just put some soldiers around i'm not sure where i can put them but We'll just kind of litter them around here and see what happens. Looks like they're trying to leave, actually. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, can't say I didn't try. It is currently free time, and it looks like a lot of people aren't doing too much when it comes to gang warfare. We are currently getting rid of this uh, riot right now. Pretty quickly, actually. But a lot of the prisoners have guns here, so <laughs> good luck. All right, we are finally receiving some intake. It is quite a big one. So hopefully we can get some new members going on. We're gonna need to hire some more guards to take care of all of this because we currently have like none. Okay, Red Gang. Red Gang has received a new leader. Hopefully by this time tomorrow, they can go and recruit some lieutenants and start some gang warfare. So that puts them on track. Blue Gang has yet to see one, but we still have a little bit more intake maybe coming in. I'm not really sure yet, but we shall see. So Red Gang is going back on the menu. I don't see too many legendaries except for whoever this is walking by. 
green gang leader or member, excuse me. But over here, it looks like everyone here is just pretty calm so far. I think they are developing traits <laughs> as they live here, so uh, it's not going to last too long. But I do actually enjoy that little trait development as they continue to live in uh, prison. This guy is going through a gang promotion. I'm not really sure how or why, but apparently they used to be... Oh, oh, is this the new green gang leader? Wait a minute. Langdon, has he always been the green gang leader? Or is he going to promote a new... Oh, I think he's trying to promote... Tristan Miller to a Green Gang uh, lieutenant for being a legendary from the looks of it. Yeah, he is. But, yep, and he just made him. Wow, we just witnessed a promotion. <laughs> wow, look at that. Green Gang is making moves even when they're not. You love to see it. It looks like all of the intake is done for the day. So, Blue Gang has not gotten their leader back yet, but Red has. So, things are not looking up good for Blue but Red may still be able to fight for the central yard and the rest of these common rooms. And we are now having trouble with capacity. So like I thought, we don't have the capacity for all of the gang members as they get sorted after their intake. So we don't know exactly how that's going to work. So uh, let's just hope for the best. Green Gang making a huge move for the yard, starting a riot immediately and Red Gang I just saw some lieutenants in there get completely eviscerated in the yard by someone with a shotgun. And Green has thoroughly taken over the Green or the Central Yard from Red Gang quite quickly. Holy crap. It was over almost as soon as it started. Oh my goodness. A lot of lieutenants were killed. Well, the only lieutenants for Red Gang seems to have been killed. They were trying to keep this yard under control. And Green sent a massive force and has now taken over the central yard now the end of the day almost just about and blue gang is having a nice little riot i'm not even sure where or why it looks like it's over here wow oh, people are just going through killing everyone that's not good so let's hire some people to get rid of that shall we so i guess the clock is ticking for a lot of things i guess for the all the gangs green gang and their win condition Let's just say by the end of this episode, if they continue or if there's, you know, not a lot of events, if pretty much they can hold control of this for the rest of this episode for the next two days or so, we'll say they'll give them a win. But if red comes back or we get some interesting people from blue, then we can probably continue to go on a little bit more. Well, you know, this was inevitable, but uh, the morgue is full, so we're going to have to put in some more slabs. Just indiscriminately, I think. We're just going to have to go for it. I think I wanted to look, you know, at least somewhat uniform, but that clearly isn't working out for us, is it? So let's just uh, fill in the rest of the empty slots with some more dead bodies. Okay, it is now eat time of day two. I think this is day two. I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, we'll pretend that it's day two. And if I go an extra day on accident, then, uh, you know, good for us. There are already dead bodies completely filling out the filled out dead body holder area that I had earlier. And I don't think there is enough room for them all. I'll have to remind me to check on the amount of dead bodies that we have after all this is said and done, which hopefully will end sooner than later because I have an excellent idea for the next gang warfare. Okay, it is now free time. Looks like Green Gang is going to assert their dominance across the entire war field. Red Gang leader seems to be is he unconscious interesting well he's just chilling uh, he has recruited some more lieutenants which is good one over here and one over here we do have some more intake coming in i thought oh here they are but no blue gang leader surprisingly so that's that's very interesting huh. seems that things have somewhat calmed down per usual the every prisoner mostly green gang is killing all of the guards uh, I believe it's actually mostly green and blue. Red seems to not be killing too many of the guards. The red gang leader has moved from his location and is now back in his cell. Scared for his safety, as as you probably should be in this sort of hellhole of a prison. We now don't have room for any of these gang members, which is unfortunate. So we might just have to expand out the prison a little bit more. It's now the first eat time of the day and nothing has happened. 
Well, now something has happened, a riot in Red Gang. I don't even know how or why, but maybe a snitch. Probably a snitch. Oh well. Yeah, nothing has happened. Blue Gang seems to be on their own. Red Gang, the leader has kind of stayed in his cell, right? They've all stayed in their own cells except for Green Gang. Green Gang, I guess having the territory gives them uh, more ability to go out and do more entertaining things since they own the territories now and they won't try to go into any of the shared places. So. I don't know if they'll even try to get all the territories back with this, but we shall see. I think Red Gang Leader will be recruiting some more lieutenants at some point, so hopefully we can find that out. I've added some more expansions to the cells, so hopefully by tomorrow or maybe even the next free time, we can fit in some more of these blue gang people and random people that can't fit in, and then get some more intake, hopefully with another leader. Well, I speak highly of the Red Gang Leader, and it looks like he's already trying to escape. I, I feel that, actually. That is mood AF, to be honest. Well, you tried, my friend. Sandra Stephenson? Sandra Stephenson? Murdering the winner of a mass competition he came second in. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's definitely going to want out of this place. <laughs> well, it looks like the rest of the gangs have possibly given up. Red Gang seems to not be doing much, even though there are lieutenants in play. Blue Gang is, you know, of course, just riding amongst themselves, and Green Gang is just chilling. So... Don't know what to say about it, except there might be dominance for the Green Gang. Okay, it is now the next day, and I am ready for the riots. I have... We've kind of completed the rest of the expansion of the prison. I mean, it's not as many prisoners as I would like. We can always expand in another direction or so if something happens. But this should be the final day of the Gang War, assuming that Green Gang doesn't come into any problems in the next 46 minutes to like 24 hours or so so we have intake coming we have about 48 prisoners coming maybe more maybe less they probably won't all fit in here but they should at least come up with some interesting gang members for the rest of the gangs right now blue gang is up to 54 members yet they still don't have a leader red gang is down to 35 members with the leader who seems to be recruiting some lieutenants but actually hasn't since the last time we checked and there is a green gang member who was assigned to this cell i don't know how that happened but it did blue gang can't believe it actually that blue gang has overtaken the green and red gang in number of members yet <laughs> <laughs> so they just don't have anyone to guide them. That's kind of crazy though. Like the amount of control that the gang leaders have over all this gang war and all this funny business that goes on. It's kind of insane. I wonder what will happen if a gang leader can get in and processed in time for this next free time. Speak of the devil, as soon as this clock strikes 8, here comes a blue gang leader. We're going to try to get them processed as quickly as possible so we will be following them with great interest. Right now, it is the second hour of eat time, so we have a little bit before the uh, gangs are released onto the war ground. I have a feeling Red Gang won't do much, and Blue will need to do some setting up, but if we can get them in in time, then we might be in business. The Blue Gang leader is here, Duncan Beswick. Is that someone trying to pretend to be Beckwith, but not quite? They aren't too much of a crazy person. I don't know if they're even a legendary member or not. No, they are just in for identity identity theft? Thief? Theft? I don't know. But that's a really bad crime. I would go to jail for that too. I can't believe the amount of people that are... Ugh, it's annoying. Pandemic and identity thieves are just loving it right now. Now we got them in. Let's hire some guards to take care of these people right away, including Beswick, mostly. So if we can get him processed as a priority somehow there we go we need to get you processed and taken care of and led to your place searched and done all that stuff all right we have the rest of the gang members showing up or i guess prisoners showing up anyways and we won't have food for them but that's okay now free time and immediately a riot goes underway that looks like it'll be stopped soon i don't know who it was it might have been green gang it might not have been oh it's probably blue from the looks of this crowd yeah, it was probably blue. They're just killing guards left and right, but it's okay. We are focused on getting blue their leader in very quickly. In fact, let's get them in right now as soon as we can. I know we have some classroom sessions going on with tasers and whatnot, but who needs to learn how to use tasers when you're just going to die pretty much instantly? 
He is being taken away. Our guard named, uh, who is this? Sawyer, 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 I'll just case Sawyer, is leading Blue to their new area. I don't know how long it will take because this guard seems to be extra slow. I, it's, it's unfortunate. We're losing some daylight hours here, but that's okay. Gang war wise, Green is popping up on their so social common rooms, doing what they can to make sure they don't lose control somehow. And it looks like they actually might if they don't come up to this top left common room over here. But they'll probably send a group in anyways. Now with the, all the new members in, we are up to 70 members of blue, 67 green, and 50 of red. So that's not bad for red still. Uh, I still don't know how this cell got claimed. We just, we'll get more in there eventually, I'm sure. Beswick is now in his location. I don't know how long it'll take for him to settle down, but he does have quite the number of members around him in order to start some gang business. It looks like he'll be too scared to actually move from his cell though, from the looks of things. Oh, here he goes, gang promotion. Beswick is going to do his first big move of the uh, new regime, lineage, whatever you want to call it. Seems to be going to someone named Sexton. Ah, perfect, a legendary prisoner. Perfect to be a lieutenant and is now a lieutenant, but who will probably get instantly killed and put to jail pretty quickly. From the looks of things, no one else is making too many moves. Red gang leader is kind of chilling, uh, just doing his own thing. Actually, here he goes. He's going to hire a new lieutenant right now. It might be another legendary. Oh, it's Grant. Grant here has a lot of money, actually. He's about $2 on cash on him, so... Just recruited him. Now we have another lieutenant for Red Gang. And we are having people here that don't have places to live. But that's... That's okay. Ooh, Bestwick has just promoted another member who seems to be Problem Child as well. A legendary, volatile, and deadly, fearless uh, lieutenant. Now here, Bestwick is just doing his thing, actually. Which is pretty good. Okay. Quick riot by Green Gang, which is, I guess, good for them. It is now eat time, and the Blue Gang leader has required some recruits, actually. Uh, when I say that, I mean acquired some lieutenants and are now rioting for some reason. I'm not even sure why Blue Gang is rioting or what they're rioting about, but it was uh, taken care of quite quickly, which is good. No other movement, though, on the work... I say workstation, I was going to say it's Battlefield and the battlefield is empty once again i wonder if they will be making any moves after this uh eat time i think blue gang they might you know after a change of regime just a little bit they might pull off something but i'm not entirely sure if they will or not and for some reason these people are in lockdown looks like somehow Beswick has become a legendary prisoner what was he a legendary prisoner before, or did we just not know? I guess we must not have known. Holy crap, Bestwick is extremely strong. Lots of legendary prisoners here at the Blue Gang territory, and Red Gang. Actually, no, Red only has one legendary. Lots of uh, these people are dead. Green has a couple legendary prisoners, but Blue Gang, just chilling. It is now free time. There may be some movement yet. I'm not sure if there will be, but Blue Gang has all the opportunity to set up some things if their lieutenants are not shackled in their cells like they seem to be. What an absolute joke. All the members that the Blue Gang leader has recruited seems to keep getting themselves into trouble and putting back into their cells for their 30 minute uh, solitary or uh, lockdown time. And that's keeping them from doing gang business from the looks of it. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not really sure. Blue Gang leader is a fighter and is scared for his safety as he just sits in his cell. I'm not really sure why he's the one trying to fight everybody else, but uh, Green Gang still dominates to this day. You guys let me know what you think. Should we end it here and call Green Gang a win, or should we allow Blue Gang and Red Gang to try to get on their feet again and take over some territories? As it slowly goes tonight, Green Gang chills on the bench of the yard of the territory that they fought quite hard over. I'm not really sure if anyone else is going to challenge them. Like I said, I will iterate again. Let me know what you guys think. Should I give the rest of the gangs more time to challenge Green or should I cut off this season right here and announce Green as the winners? Small riots going on, but that's going to be it for the night, I believe. 
Green Gang is just chilling, taking over their territories and keeping them in check. Blue Gang seems to be fighting all of the guards and the walls and doors for some reason, and Red Gang is just hiding in their cells. And let's check the stats real quick. Let's check the number of deaths, I believe. We are, uh, I don't know the total deaths. Where is total deaths? Total deaths, there we go. Up to 607? You know, that's actually not that, not that bad. As blue gang leaders and lieutenants fight the guards, I will leave it there. So, like I said again, for the third time, let me know what you guys want. If I should keep going or end this series and move on to a different prison style or whatever. So, yeah, we'll let this run. But until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening. And I will see you next time.